Hello, Gamer Norm is back. So for today's video, we are going to help this noob with the Dark Blade, unlock your V3, and the title Slayer of God. But before we start, you can show your support by using Star Code Gamer Gnome when purchasing your Robux. Where the actor slam oh, there yes. passing forward, there's your slam, there's the dump. Hi guys, this quest will be long, so let's start with the requirements. So first up, you need to be in a second C. And you need all races at V3 except for Gold and Cyborg race. Now we have the human race, so I'm gonna show you how to get V3. First, you need to go to the green zone and look for the alchemist. He's located here, and this alchemist will ask you to look for three flowers. I'm going to show you all the locations just once. Make sure to pay attention. So first, at night, you can only find the blue flower. Okay, so for all the locations, my go-to island is the graveyard. The flower usually spawns on one of the graves, or if you don't find one, sometimes it's located here. In this area, there you go. But don't worry, if you don't find one, let's head to the next area, the remote area. This island is where you can find Yusop, or the island where you can find Kabucha. Last island to find the blue flower. It is located here in this small island. Just in case I missed a location, please comment it on the comment section. So here it is, all the locations of the blue flower. Next up, you can find the yellow flower in any mob in the second sea. So just defeat them until they drop the yellow flower. So as you can see, I am defeating mercenaries. For the red flower, you can only obtain it in the morning. For all the locations, first, I always start in the mansion. Look at these plants. Sometimes the red flower spawns here. If you don't find one, look at this area. So there you go. As you can see, we've already found the red flower. Other areas that might spawn the red flower. First from the cafe. This area, sometimes the red flower spawns here. Okay, so next stop. Here. Next is the green zone. One here. And here. As you can see, there is a red flower, okay? So after getting all the flowers, head to the alchemist. And he will ask you to pay him 500,000. Upgrade your race into V2. So what is the benefit? You will get one more dodge for human race. Okay, so after that, we will head to the dog house to get human V3. The dog house is located here on the area where you will fight diamond. A secret passage, there you go, and you need to talk to Arrow. So for the human V3 quest, you need to defeat Jeremy, Fajita, and Diamond. So they're easy to defeat now because we're max level. We're going to use combat, there you go. Okay, last one is Fajita. And after that, you can now go back to Arrow and pay him 2 million. You will unlock the Unleashed and the full power title, and there you go. Human V3. After this, you need to go to Norp and do a reroll race. Next up, we get the Mick. So now we're going to head to Alchemist, find all three flowers the blue, the yellow, and the red, and head back to Alchemist. Again, we're gonna pay him 500,000. We get V2 Mink, and after that, go to Auro for your V3 quest. You need to pick up 30 chests. For the locations of the chests, first is the raid location. There are four chests here. We go and next stop, the final location or the final island, the forgotten island. There are I think seven chests here. That's one, two, three, four, five, yeah, and two more in the boss area. There you go. Oh no, three. So we have eight chests here. So Next area is the Ice Castle. You can find a total of 9 chests here. So here are all the locations. It's the second one. The third one. 3 inside this room. 6. Okay. 7 chest. And 2 more. Okay, so I hope that these locations will help you get 30 chests fast. And after that, you will get... Two titles, and those titles are the Unmatched Speed and the God Speed. So congratulations on the Mink V3. And after this, we will head back to the cafe 
and ask Nor for a race reroll. Guys, again, for every reroll, you need 3,000 shards. So for our race now, we got the Sky race. Now head back to Alchemist. Again, look for all three flowers. Guys, we're gonna do this on all the races. So make sure to be patient. And after gathering all the flowers, go back to the Alchemist. Guys, at V2 Sky, you can jump 11 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. See that? Now we're heading towards Arrow. And for our quest, you need to defeat one of your kind. So one other character with the Sky Race. So that's easy. We have an alt account. See that, guys? <laughs> Boom. Okay, so now our quest is finished. Time to head back to Arrow and get the Sacred Warrior and Perfect Being title. One last race to go guys, now let's head back to Norp. For the final race, we got the Fishman race again. Go to Alchemist, locate all the flowers. Go and after that, go back to Alchemist to unlock Fishman V2. Next, go to Arrow. For your quest, you need to defeat a Sea Beast. So guys, I use the cannon to defeat the Sea Beast. If you want me to show you the full video of this, just comment it on the comment section and I'll post that. So once you defeat the Sea Beast, you can now go back to Arrow and unlock Fishman V3. So for the titles that you will get, Sea Monster and Warrior of the Sea. So now guys, we've unlocked all four V3 races. Again, you don't need the goal and the Cyborg race. Next requirement, guys, I don't have the Dark Blade so I bought it first. Now, once we have the Dark Blade, I decided to go back to the first C, yes, and unlock the V2 version of the Dark Blade. So this will be fast. Again, I went to the first C now for the quest. Go to the middle town. Look for a house that has a green roof. There you go. Talk to Robot Mega. He will give you a quest. You need to go to the frozen village and talk to the dog house for the answers. Answer say me. You say, say me why, and give nothing, give good, and that's it. You will unlock the sun quest. There you go. So you need to find three letters. For the first letter, it's located here. Oh, you see that? Is your Z skill. Next letter location is the Skylands near the spawn point. There you go. After that, head to the Marine Fortress at the back of it. Here is the entrance, use your Z skill. This is a maze here. Just keep on using your Z skill and eventually you will find the third letter. After this, go back to the robot Mega in the middle town. Talk to him and you will get the Dark Blade V2. Now, for the V3 requirement, you need two Fists of Darkness. So for my first one, I waited for four hours in my private server. There you go. We got the face of darkness. Next is we tried hunting sea beasts. So again, shout out to Tom and Ace for helping me with the second face of darkness. Now, one of your friends should start the dark raid. Okay, so my friend Tom will do that. And I went to the graveyard. So first, Tom should start it. Okay, so there you go. The power of darkness has been unleashed. So now, I need to put my face of darkness in this area. And after that, a door will open. So guys, that's it. We've unlocked the title Slayer of God. According to some of the players, this is the hardest quest to do. What are the benefits? Guys, check our Yoru. It is now covered in white aura. Is there a damage buff, Gamer Gnome? No. There is no damage buff. <laughs> so it is just for uh, some maybe bragging rights, if you may say. Before I end this video, we're just gonna defeat Dark Beard or Black Beard, yes, with combat and with some help of my friends. So again, shout out to Tom and Ace for helping me with this quest. Again, to all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, I really appreciate you all. This is Gamer Nom, and Gamer Nom out.